I want to share in this video a story about a heroin death. My little brother was an amazing person. I remember when I was about seven years old he was born and I just felt such a strong bond and connection with him. He loved to have fun. When he was a little kid he was always building things. He would take pieces of wood and build them into ramps so he could skateboard. He always was so kind to everybody, always smiling, telling jokes. He made a lot of friends and he was just a beautiful, beautiful person. Um, he loved to snowboard and travel and attend nudist resorts and just you know, do anything he could to have a good time and to find you know, more love and, and light in his life. And sadly when he was a little younger he had problems growing. He was shorter than many other kids his age and we lived in a town that was kind of uh, wealthy and there were a lot of kids that would pick on him and he eventually started to uh, make some friends and he would go to parties and he felt very awkward he would tell me and uncomfortable so he would use drugs and alcohol to feel more confident and to be able to fit in he started smoking marijuana all the time and drinking alcohol and that became his lifestyle and eventually he started to grow up and try other drugs like cocaine and molly and he never told me but he eventually had an opiate addiction he started taking opiate pills and he i guess could buy them or get them prescribed and then he was unable to buy them anymore so he started to use heroin and i'll never forget on the day that he died we had a dog that was in our family that passed away and he was very upset and i called him and we talked for about an hour and a half about life and about all the things we had went through and just you know wanted to tell him how much i cared about him and loved him and what a great brother he was and he said the same to me how much he cared about me and how much he loved me and it was just a wonderful beautiful talk and that night he went out to the bar with his friends and he was drinking and he decided to walk home and uh, he walked home and he had heroin he was alone he put a needle in his arm <clears throat> and uh, he died he, uh, the one mark was found on his arm meaning he might not have done heroin in a while but the one needle instantly killed him and now 27 years old he's gone from this uh, world in the form that you know we know it and I've been working with those with addiction I'm a social worker and life coach I was working at a rehab at the time of his death and it was just so fascinating to me that you know I would think if you used heroin and you knew bad heroin was around you wouldn't go near it but the people there that had addiction said no that's not how it works we want the strongest most lethal toxic heroin possible which is just a shock and that's why so many people still are dying even though they know there's bad uh, heroin around and it's a really really tough challenge a lot of people say they start you know with the opiate medicine and then they can't get it so heroin is cheaper and easier to buy so they buy it and they inject themselves and all types of issues happen they get STDs from sharing needles and they face very you know high risk of losing their lives but I decided to do something uh, positive based on what happened losing my brother and uh, I wrote a book that shares lessons for anyone wanting to learn about addiction and mental illness it's a guide sharing knowledge and hope and inspiration and it's a wonderful book and I suggest you get it to learn more about these topics you can go on Amazon right now and just type in depression bipolar and heroin that's depression bipolar and heroin and you will find the book I wrote and uh, we also do coaching where we work with those with mental illness and addiction we help inspire and find your resources and allow you to get your life back on track you can find my website at bipolaronline.com and please know you know these are not easy issues but I really believe we need more people helping others we need more to go into this field unfortunately this problem is not going away so quickly so I'd love you to read the book and who knows maybe you'll either help yourself or help someone else and together we can you know work on this challenge and make our lives better and maybe help those that are struggling from addictions because I know many of those with addictions are beautiful people and they have a lot of gifts to share and sadly the addiction you know takes away a lot of that and I lost my brother which tells me that you know you can die from this and uh, it's very serious and uh, I pray that your life gets better and maybe his death wasn't in vain and if we can inspire some other people to get their lives back on track then as sad as I am about losing him maybe something good will eventually come from this. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I pray wherever you are that your life gets better and maybe things improve. So check out the book Depression, Bipolar and Heroin on Amazon and I uh, hope wherever you are you have a real great day. Thanks.